I don't know how I just won that gunfight. <laughs> All right, what's good, YouTube? Jay here. We are spectating Warzone solos over here on Urzikstan. I have not spectated anything on this map in quite a while. I was debating on spectating either solos or duos, but I mean, I feel like I'll get more entertainment value. I think I was probably like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know where I just died, dude. I feel like I just deployed in the middle of nowhere and there just happened to be a guy just chilling out here. We are over here with, who is this guy? I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that name. I just decided, yeah, it'd be fun to spec this with Souls on Urzik stand again. I wanted to do duos, but I feel like there might be some more storylines we can kind of get out of spectating Souls on here. I do have a duos and a quads video planned soon. Yeah, that goes to show how much I know about this map. I think I have maybe like six seven games on here and i think i've won maybe two i don't i don't play this map that often man i'm just more of a resurgence guy tomorrow is the weekly update for call of duty and they say that they're supposed to be fixing the reload bug and everything we're going to be apparently also getting the new uh conversion kit for the amr9 which turns into the five round burst version from advanced warfare i don't know how good it was in advanced warfare because i didn't play advanced warfare in its prime so i mean if you know how good it was let me know in the comments He is not letting him execute him. I fully understand that. He does not want to get executed. I get that. Oh, so that's what that little flare is. All right, I didn't realize that the flare that deploys every time you kill somebody is them having a gulag re-entry token. I didn't know that at all. Got a striker in the DG58. I heard that the DG58 is actually really, really good. Not even heard. I see everybody and their grandmother using it in every stream that I go to. So apparently it's just the best gun in the game now. So I was at the gym today, right? <sighs> I've got sort of like a, I don't want to say like a welt on my leg, but there's like a really sore spot on my shin right now because I was doing a bunch of like knee related exercises and a bunch of other things to kind of help with my legs and make them feel a little better. Oh, he's getting shot from the side. Wait a minute. Oh, he, he threw that smoke way too late. He should have threw it a second earlier. He didn't react to getting shot at all. So I was doing leg related exercises. I had like a little plate that I was jumping up and down and it was like two feet off the ground, maybe. Trying to just work on my overall body, doing a bunch of jumping exercises and stuff. I moved the plate up like to the level four that's la like labeled on the bar. There's a lot happening right here. There's a guy over there in a Hummer. This guy's getting shot at from right here. I would just back off from this gunfight. You don't really know where he is. Just deploy the mosquito drone also too. I don't know why people hold on to these things so long. He's using the Jack BFB like muzzle attachment. The guy that was just shooting at him. You can see him on the mini map staying there for a little bit longer oh but yeah so i was doing my jumps and when i moved it up a level i tried to jump up on it the first like couple of jumps i did on the second one i slipped like my right foot slipped and my shin immediately slammed into the plate it hurt so badly my, my leg's still sore i don't think i fractured anything i could still walk on the leg just fine but for a minute i couldn't walk on it because of how sore it was i had to like squeeze my shins like force the pain out because of how badly it was hurting but we're good now we're good now for the most part i, I actually hope i didn't actually break anything i don't think i did but i hope i did it either way i did a lot of physical exercises today just a lot of like knee related exercises a bunch of different lunge variations some things that involve actually using my kneecaps to actually like go up and down i do a lot of sitting i work from home and i edit videos for my own channel so i do a lot of sitting where did that guy come from did he just slap him <laughs> that dude just got molly whopped what the fuck with all the sitting that i do like i use my standing desk i do put it in the standing like position pretty often this is a lot of action for, for the big map, honestly. I'm surprised at how many gunfights I've seen within the last, like, two minutes. I feel like you don't see this too often in this map. Like, there's a lot of campy areas to hide in. Unless this area is just a hot spot. Where are we now? Okay, we're over here at Urzikstan Cargo, so maybe this is a hot spot. But with all the sitting that I do, I feel like my kneecaps don't really get a lot of work. My knees have been sore consistently for a few weeks ever since I started working from home. They were actually really sore when I used to Uber for a living, too. Like, constantly getting in and out of my car was painful for my knees. So I decided I actually should probably do something about it instead of just saying, well, my knees are just like this, or I'm getting older, or whatever like no i hate that argument so much you can make any ailment go away if you tried hard enough and that's just my personal opinion obviously some things are just you know well impossible like if your leg gets blown off or whatever you can't just magically put a new leg on i mean you could put like a prosthetic one obviously but you can't like grow your old leg back i don't know if that's the argument i was trying to go for you just get rid of the gulag kit wait a minute a uav preps i don't understand why people don't get uavs like when they have the cash what did he buy okay he bought a uav okay cool just pop that man what do you need it for i guess if there's nobody in the area there's no point in popping it it's kind of crazy how i went from a bunch of gunfights to no gunfights in the span of like a minute is some change it's like just dead quiet now on the map you don't hear anything you don't hear shots nothing but yeah I, I just decided to get active and physical with my knees like i do work out periodically i used to work out a lot more before i started working my current job because i was always driving places and stuff i would just go straight to the gym after i got through ubering but with me working from home i'm out of the house less now so i'm in i feel like i just naturally just don't go outside intentionally anymore i want to change that because i like going outside i love exercising i love getting physical like i just feel like if you're physical and you're active that is just the best way to really just make your body feel like how it's supposed to your body's designed to move and run around and do things and lift and squat i've actually reached a point where i'm starting to hate if people call me old because it's like brother i'm not that old i literally just need to work out more and just actually treat my body correctly like the way i'm supposed to is that a person right there
He keeps finding these things. I actually really like the look of Urzik's stand, despite the fact that I don't like Modern Warfare 2 slash 3's art style. Just has this weird, like, overly bright, like, plastic kind of look to it. MW19, for all my qualms with that game, had a way better art style in this game. Well, I hope you picked that vest up. I don't think a lot of casual players realize you can pick up those vests if you already have the tempered perk on from like your perk package or whatever. Dude, man, they catch Lamar beef is crazy, brother. I still can't get over how basically he won that song or that whole beef basically by dropping a, a hit record, but at the same time, something you can actively dance to in the club. And I don't think that was his intention. I've been telling people like this for the longest. Diss tracks and diss like beefs and stuff, they're not meant to make catchy songs. I hate the argument that Drake's songs were catchy or his songs are the better beats or whatever. It would be the same if Kendrick. What I like about rap beats is the stories that are told and the breakdowns of characters. That's what's important in a beef. Not how catchy the song is, not how good it would sound if you bumped it in the car or whatever. If it turns out the way, great. But the intention of a good beef is supposed to be the breaking down of character and or exposing people in the case of Kendrick with Drake and Drake with Kendrick's wife and all this stuff or whatever. At the end of the day, I don't have a side in any of this stuff, but I do find it crazy how Kendrick, the more lyrically, I want to say capable artist, accidentally dropped a club hit basically because i've been seeing videos on twitter of people playing that song not like us in clubs and stuff and actually getting turned and dancing and stuff it's like a reaction video rolling around with like eight or nine different reactors reacting at the same time and they're all dancing to the same parts and stuff it just goes to show like that song i think touched the black culture just a little bit more and in a way when that happens you low-key just kind of win the argument both of these people have more money than me I, I don't care who wins if there's some crazy stuff that needs to be talked about and exposed though we need to talk about and expose some stuff. Wait, no, there's two people fighting over here. All right, we're getting active a little bit now. I wonder if this is one of the guys that was just over here. I mean, this guy is, um, he, he's okay. He, he's, he's moving around, which is a plus. He doesn't seem to be staying in the same area for too long, but he doesn't really have any real like finesse with his movement and his aim doesn't seem to be the best it's pubs so i don't think it's always supposed to be about the best or anything i'm just kind of talking about the actual game instead of sitting here talking about random subjects that have really no meaning this is one of the main reasons why i love watching phase jeff dude like his random talks about ufc the eagles or whatever else like other fighting games and stuff i love watching his videos so much i'm gonna say this now cause of phase jeff and i want to say scump and a couple other creators are the people that encouraged me or influenced me rather because i don't know them personally obviously they were the ones that influenced me to uh get involved with like call of duty making call of duty content of stuff i was a big fan of their videos and i thought huh it looks like it'd be kind of fun to create some of the stuff that they create i don't never want to mimic anybody i always like being my own man but i do love the ideas that a lot of those creators had and i kind of like putting my own twist on them now me sitting here spectating wars on isn't anything unique or anything but i do look good in this uh sleeveless undershirt so that's a plus maybe that's a little bit unique got an airstrike i was gonna say you might want to pick that up he, he just kind of blatantly ignores a lot of stuff. Brother, just use the damn mosquito drones, man. There's a deployable uh, buy station right there. You can use that and get a UAV, maybe? People kind of already know you're here. Okay, I hear footsteps right under him. I would just get on the roof, honestly. Like, uh, he's dropping stuff right here? What is he doing? I mean, hey, he's got seven kills. He's just kind of chilling right now. He's probably having a good time. Just got off of work. He is so scared. It's not even funny. <laughs> Watching him realize when he sees something on the ground, like he can use it. He's just like, oh, oh, I can, I, I can use this. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I can use this. I think the guy's on the roof. Unless I'm seeing the air conditioning. Yeah, I'm seeing the air conditioning unit up there. I was like, wait, I think the guy's on the roof. All right, he's going to throw the gas mask on. I'm about to say, don't take, don't take this shot. It ain't worth it. Oh, somebody's getting into a gunfight over there. You've got a precision. You could use it and get a free kill, maybe. He sort of kind of got circled too. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, you actually got him. I can't say I see a universe in where this guy actually wins this game, but anything is possible in Warzone, I've learned. Still got the heartbeat sensor out, still got that precision airstrike. It looks like he kind of has good control over this area. I would be worried about the people that are on the hillside. Why does this guy have five other spectators aside from me? Oh, there's a riot shielder. And he's getting shot in the back. Oh, that's a free kill. I would pop the precision. Just pop the precision. There you go. Because that guy's trying to get a res off. Okay, yeah, he's gonna die right there to the other guy. Okay, so he knows that there's a guy over over on that side. Oh, there he is right there. there he's, he's about to get into a gunfight with the other guy. Gonna force him into a rotation with the other guy. That guy's popping shots. Those two are fighting on the hill. One of them just went down. We have no idea who. It looks like a completely different player from the one that we just saw. He's gonna smoke it out. Probably switch to a sub here. Yep, yep, yep. Got the... <laughs> got that heartbeat sensor on lock. He's gonna die right here. I would... That guy can just see him. Hold on. He 
He actually won. Wow. Okay, you know what? I take all my trash talk back. I didn't think he had it in him, honestly. His shots were a little shaky. He looked a little nervous. He was scared of everything that he walked past. I'm not mad at it. He got the dub. Congrats to him. That was a sweaty Groot skin, so you could just tell by the way he played. He slid up on that hillside and threw a breacher drone at him. This guy's like, nah, I got this. I'm him. I don't know what I expected, but that was a good game. I have fun. At some point, I would like to do a gym vlog, but I don't really have a good gym locally that I could go to. Like, I could go to the one that my brother in laws go to, but I think they have like a no camera policy. But I would like to go to like a private gym or something and do like a vlog there. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun doing the vlogs and stuff, man. I've always wanted to do something gym related, but I want to avoid filming other people by accident or making anybody upset. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I actively want to avoid filming other people without their consent and making them upset. I'm gonna figure that out though, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more spectating content, Call of Duty content, vlogs, and whatever else. And as always, this has been Jay the Gamer. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.